Hi YouTube, Casper2206 here. Uh, I haven't done a video in a long time. It's, two, it's uh, December 26, 2013, day after Christmas. Um, very good Christmas this year. Um, got a lot of cool stuff. Spent a lot of time with my brother, my niece, sister-in-law. Um, I spent some time with e each of my parents. Um, got some cool stuff this year. My brother bought me some wrestling tickets. They're coming to town and uh, WWE. Got me a shirt and a hat to go to go with. That's pretty cool. Um, not John Cena or anything like that. We got uh, he got me a DX shirt and a Stone Cold hat. So old school '90s Attitude Era stuff. Um, spent a lot of time with some people. Met a lot of nice friends this year. We uh, had some fun this holiday. Exchanged gifts and stuff like that. Um, I got like a, a personal journal. Um, one friend took me out to dinner. Uh, and uh, a lot of cool stuff. Um, my brother and I, um, I'm going to show you my, my, my one gift I've been waiting for for about a year. Um, my, uh, um, the Mattel Toy Company is making uh, Ghostbuster prop replicas, which I've been buying, as you can see if I show you there. I've been buying them. Um, this year, and just this month, they came out with the um, wand which is a two-part piece to, to the Proton Pack, but they sold the wand separately to get more money out of us. But it worked. So me and my brother bought each other one. Um, technically, we bought ourselves, but we can just say we bought each other one, and it justifies it. So so let me show you. It came in, like like they all do, they came in, came in this really cool box. came in this white box, all the Ghostbuster props do. So it came in that, and then, oh, one second. And it came in this really cool decorative box that all the prop replicas come in. It looks like a crate. It's got stamps and stuff all over it. Warning signs and whatnot. So that's very cool. So that's the box it comes in. And here it is. Very nice. Pretty screen accurate. I want to say about 90% screen accurate. Um, the things I've noticed right away on not accurate are the tip uh, is not accurate. It's supposed to be just this ring, and then the rest of this top is supposed to be just like the clear tube. But I guess for shipping purposes or toy sale purposes, they made it one big piece so it's all connected and doesn't break so easily. This top right here is actually rubber. Um, that's what it's supposed to cut off here, and this is supposed to be like hanging off of it, but I guess, like I said, I guess they put it all in one piece for safety or something like that. Can you actually, can I actually see it? Um, another inaccuracy is this is supposed to be orange, and this is supposed to be red, but it's black and red, which is, that's okay. Um, these up here, here and here, uh, right there, yeah, these two pieces are supposed to be bronze colored, um, but they're black, but that's okay too. And then the grips on either side of the handles are supposed to be rubber, as in the movie, like, like, this would be pipe, metal pipe, and then this would be a rubber grip, same thing on the handle. Other than that, it is pretty dead screen accurate, it is actually... Someone else on YouTube actually uh, measured it out and uh, compared it to to something uh, to a homemade one, and it was pretty pretty good. So um, it actually has the fake weld around the handle where it would be weld where it would have been welded together, which is very cool. It actually has the old Clipper Minimatic. They actually got the uh, the company permission to use those. So as you can see. So, and it makes, uh, of course it lights up and makes sounds and stuff. It takes three AAA batteries, and it actually has the, the, uh, V-clip. It's, act that's actual metal, that's an actual metal V-clip, and that's all, but it only comes with half of it, and I'm guessing the second half will be on the Proton Pack. Um, uh, hopefully they'll make that, and that'll come out next year. Fingers crossed. So you just unscrew this plate, which is very accurate to the movie as well. Unscrew the plate, and the battery pack is right behind there. And it's actually, that's actually camouflaged pretty well. So, um, to turn it on, you hit the, uh, activation. 
uh, you hit the you hit the uh, power lights up red lights up and then to activate the entire gun you press the second switch right here so it lights up like the movie it's actually really cool and then the tip extends by pressing this green lever right here the tip will extend let me show you and to press the trigger to activate the thrower or the beam actually has power up and power down noise and you can actually um... the bar here you probably can't see it but the the light bar here is only halfway because it's got two settings you can do it halfway and full way uh... halfway the the light the tip lights up um... uh... blue and red and if you turn it full way it lights up orange and purple so if you're if you're a nutcase ghostbuster fan like I am this is a very very cool thing to get um, hopefully the pack will come out next year um, I'm actually gonna power it down let's uh... I'm gonna turn off the lights and see uh... see how it works that way Pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get the big light. So, lights are off now. Turn it on again. It actually vibrates too, shakes, which is pretty cool. So all in all, very cool prop replica. Pretty screen accurate. I would give it out of ten when you're talking about screen accuracy on how much it looks like the movie version I would give it probably like a 90 or an 85 it's actually really screen accurate like I said the only thing is the grips aren't rubber and the the these two things up top are supposed to be bronze I don't know why they didn't paint them maybe there was just an overlook maybe it was an oversight I could probably paint them I could find some bronze paint and um, and the tip is one big piece not very screen accurate because it's just supposed to be this ring and then this is supposed to be just part of the tube down here but other than that it is really cool even though he's even got the green and the red hoses or wires which are green and red in the movie so that's really awesome too let me power it down so Very cool. So that was that was my Christmas my main Christmas present this year. Um, I'll probably do more videos with my other prop replicas. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So thanks for watching. Uh, happy holidays to everyone on YouTube and Happy New Year.